previously on Days of Our Past. But Billy, my son, my darling boy, is dead. Oh, wait, Lisa. Before you go, there's something I have to say. Sure, John Howard. What is it? I'm your father. What's that noise? It seems like ticking. It's coming from that briefcase. It sure is. Oh, my God. It's a bomb. <laughs> Did everything go according to plan? It most certainly did. I allowed Miss Muffin to give me the bomb, and I went along with the explosion. There is one more thing we need. It's a matter of national emergency. But I think there is someone here who can explain it a little better. Who's there? Oh my god! Prime Minister Rudd! Hello, Doctor. There is something we need to talk about. Like pastry in the oven, these are the days of our pies. I'm Lisa Jones, and these are the days of our pies. Just as it seemed things couldn't get any more dramatic in Ramsey Bay, Prime Minister Kevin Rudd had just arrived in order to give Doctor, who had expected to be retiring after blowing up the Ramsey Bay Hospital and killing Roy Bollasero's illegitimate son Billy Muesli Bar, some important news. What? What is it? What do we need to talk about? It involves a matter of national and international security. And as I believe, you are our best agent, and I think you really need to know. Does Schwinkter and Hero know? Yeah, I most certainly do. Well, enough of the small talk. Tell me already. Well, we have received intelligence reports that an attack on Australia and other parts of the world is imminent. And the attack on Australia is to happen right here in Ramsey Bay. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. That's horrible. That's, that's, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, out of everywhere here in Australia, why attack a small town like Ramsey Bay? Because Ramsey Bay is such a beautiful place. And peaceful. An attack here would de just devastate Australia. Fair call. But who? Who would want to cause such horrible amount of panic and death on Australia and the world? It's a right unbelievable threat, I tell ya. Almost laughed me chops off when I was told by old Rado, ye? Who? Who then? Tell me! Well, it's the aliens, Doctor. The aliens from space, they are threatening our planet and intend to destroy us. <laughs> you, you've got to be kidding me. E.T. is coming here to blow us up and <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so incredibly scared. Believe it or not, Doctor, it is happening and in only three days. So we are to prepare you as you are Australia's and Ramsey Bay's only hope. Meanwhile, back in Ramsey Bay, not too far from the ruins of the hospital, town policeman Frank Cakeman was driving general store owners and husband and wife George and Jennifer Pyman, along with the as previously mentioned now deceased Billy Muesli Bart's illegitimate father, Roy Boller Serial, in search for doctor, as well as newest town resident and recently discovered long lost daughter of former Prime Minister John Howard, Lisa Muffin. Ah, oh, Jennifer, why must Lisa and this Dr. Guy be so hard to find? Why must new people come into a beautiful town all the time? And why, oh, why must that damn siren be so annoying? George, I have no idea. It's not that annoying. Frank, any sign of them? No, not yet. There are not many people about, and I think they're all at the hospital seeing if people are okay and helping with the rescue. So they shouldn't be that hard to find. We should check the outskirts of town near the truck stop. That's where the Utatooners meet some days before coming into Ramsey Bay. Good point, Bry. And I should remember what the doctor looks like immediately. As they continued to drive, they turned down a street and drive past both Lisa Muffin and John Howard, who were sitting down after discovering that they are related. Oh my gosh, it's Lisa Muffin! With some old man! Frank jumps out of the car and takes out his gun and points it at Lisa. Hold it right there, Miss Muffin, you fine-looking little specimen. You are under arrest for the shooting of my good friend Roy Bollasero and his illegitimate son, Billy Muslaba, as well as, an es as escaping custody. Please, please don't shoot me. I surrender. You can come with me then, Miss Muffin. You have no... You have so much explaining to do... You can fill four more episodes, but first you need to tell me who this man is with you and what is he doing? Oh, you don't recognize me? Have I been forgotten already? Former Prime Minister John Howard? Yeah, jeez, what do I have to do to be remembered? I don't care who you are, but you are under arrest for aiding and abetting a known criminal. Sorry guys, 
I'm gonna have to take these guys downtown, so you're gonna have to wait here while I do that. That's okay, Frank. I understand. But before you do, there's one thing I have to do. What is it, Roy? All of a sudden, Rod pulls out a gun. Oh my gosh, he's got a gun! This was for me, Billy, you bitch! Shoot! How on earth did it? he get a gun? Will Doctor and Agent Svita and Kevin Rudd be able to prevent the alien attack? And what the hell is with Jennifer's latest hairstyle? Find out next time on Days of Our Pies.